Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to episode 32 of So You Went to Play. And in this episode, we are going to be going ahead and taking a look at the Step Bowman. I believe this is the only troop I have not covered. Well, okay, I think I still haven't covered Rabble as well, but yeah. We're going to be taking a look at the Step Bowman and the matchup versus Sturgia, which could be a bit of a problem considering it's probably going to be a pretty crash-heavy well, it would be a crash every map, but uh, with uh, Kuz-8, it's going to be a bit of a problem. So, without further ado, let's get right into the equipment. So, first we have our... No, sorry. Yeah, let's go to the equipment, I guess, first. So, we get the faster bow. It does 47 damage. Uh, 92 fire rate, not too bad. We can go with the better bow, which does 2 more damage and loses about 3 fire rate. These are basically interchangeable. Like, it's a little more, bit more accurate, a little bit more damage. It's kind of irrelevant. Uh, pick your choice, and then... You have a sword that you can go with, but it's awful because then you only get a hunting bow. So never use the never use the short sword. There's no point there. So I guess I'll just go ahead and go with the uh, I'll go with the the short bow just because it's just kind of preference. It really doesn't make a difference. I will tell you that. For secondary equipment, we got the uh, strong arrows, uh, which are never used. As you can see, it's only four more damage, but you lose a stack of thirty arrows. So not really a good option there. Extra arrows uh, will be the ticket in this match because uh, I'm not going to be worrying about Drunznik because I'm assuming our team's probably going to bring some Lancers or a lot of Spears. So, uh, But in the case I am worried about Cav, I can't go with the Short Spear. Uh, the Short Spear will be good against, uh, particularly in like a, a Kuze versus Kuze matchup. That would be nice. Uh, that's a good option there. Maybe against Azurai, things like that. But uh, for this match, Faster Bow with the extra arrows will be the tool of choice. So yeah, just gonna go ahead and chill here, get some warm up, and um, I will get back to you guys whenever uh, whenever it's time to go. So yeah, see you guys then. All right, so here we go. Uh, match will be starting real soon. So like I said earlier, we're gonna go with the faster bow, extra arrows. This will be the preferred tool of choice in this matchup. And obviously we're going to try and keep our distance and allow our arrows to do a lot of work. We do have a lot of arrows to burn through, so faster bow may help us get an arrow two off faster than the other one, but again, the difference is basically non-existent. And unsurprisingly, they went with a very heavy um, infantry composition, because I mean, obviously Sturgia does. They've gone for the, um, let's see, they got the double Variag, double double clan or double warrior and uh double berserker so i guess pretty standard stuff from them i didn't really expect much else to be honest so we'll just kind of set up here for now and allow our guys to fire as they come over the ridge should be a relatively safe position maybe move a little bit more i might i might have to run up the hill depending uh they got the shields obviously uh, yeah, so this is the part where we, uh, already gotta start running, so. Let's just keep running for now. And we should be able to outrun them, I believe, just because they have so much armor, so. It's not really gonna be a problem. And yeah, I'll just go ahead and run right through A. Should not be an issue there. Tell my men to go up there, and I, I don't... Okay, the infantry are still pushing, so that's a bit awkward. And we'll start shooting right about here. Just because now the infantry are a bit more exposed and we can probably rack up some kills here. Now that he's just kind of shield walling. And I'm going to get behind him and kind of disrupt his formation. And yeah, he's going to pay the price for what he's doing here. Yeah, he's panicking. His nomads are not doing really anything, but they are buying us some time. So I guess that's something productive. Come the Vari eggs coming right at me. I'm gonna start charging, but you know, those arrows are just gonna fly and it's not gonna work out for them. So, let's do some basic kiting here, nothing crazy, and just allow our archers to just keep putting in some good damage. And now I can probably move here, get a bit closer. Now, I actually gotta sit here. Distance is getting bad. And let's just let the archers again just keep putting in the work and I'll just keep trying to get some flanks rolling here. Just beat him over the head with his mace. And now I'll lure him away. 
And he'll just keep taking losses. Backs are turned. And then we should be able to clean up with the maces when it actually comes time. There we go. Take out his head. And now let's charge with those maces. Get the job done. Should be able to swarm him here. And that was some really solid stuff. Step Bowman, uh, at least they do have access to the to the mace. If they didn't, it would be a struggle for sure. But at least we had him there, and now we can allow our men to just start shooting again. Uh, rinse and repeat. Nothing crazy here. And if this guy's camping his archer or camping his bari eggs, uh, he's obviously gonna get punished. I don't really know what he's doing, but uh, I, I like it. He should keep doing it. Keep that back turns. Can't grab that horse. That's a real shame. We'll start moving down the hill. Uh, just because we are free to do so now. I'm not really landing any shots. Dude, this bow after the nerf is just absolutely horrendous. It's bad. Let's see if I can shoot his feet. Let's get his back turned. Keep those bar eggs away. And I could potentially push them. Uh, we gotta just go for it. If he's gonna shield wall, then she will punish him. I do think his Variags are a bit weak, so perhaps we can clean him up. I'm not saying it's, it's gonna happen, but it's worth a try. And let's try and retreat here a little bit. I don't know who we got left. Yeah, I think, I think we're dead, so... We, we tried. Yeah, let's just die. Yeah, nothing we can do there. Um, that was a pretty solid archer gameplay, but... Fortunately, we had some nomads that didn't really do anything. I had double nomad. That's absolutely terrible. So yeah, there we go. As you can see, um, because Vary eggs are so slow, we are able to kind of run away with a round. And if these guys we're playing against are not very good, or they're kind of uh, just letting them in camp there, we can take them out no problem. Against experienced players, this would be a bit of a struggle, yes. But uh, in this particular match, uh, the people we're against here, it, it, it will do the trick. Just keep getting those kites with uh, with myself and uh, getting some flanks, turning those shields, we getting their backs turned, and allowing the archers to put in the work. So here we go again. They have gone with much heavier... Okay, no, it's the same loaded, actually. They just ditched a berserker with an archer. Uh, I, I could see why they did that. And our players are... Okay, we only have one Nomad this time, which is nice, but it might not... It might still be too many Nomads. I, I really wish we could have ditched all of them, but and that's what we're working with today. Uh, we got some... How many Step Bowmen we got? Double Step Bowmen? That's interesting. I've never really seen anybody do that, but uh, we're seeing some new things today, I guess. Set up on the left side here uh, again, just because oh, we have some archers here, and I'm seeing some unprotected warriors, and we can absolutely start shooting them. And the more they camp here, the more we're gonna we're gonna hit them. So they should charge. That would be the smart thing to do, but uh, they're just gonna let's get free arrow picks here, so that will cost them. And obviously, I have an excellent flank here, so his far eggs are going to start dropping if he keeps camping here. Not doing too much damage with the bow, but. Okay, and now I gotta start backing away a bit because they will take an A. It's gonna be much safer here, yeah. They're probably gonna try and grab a flank around my archers, but I'm not going to fall for that. And we'll just camp here for now. And allow our archers to just keep going. Again, we got a lot of arrows to burn through, so can't be shy here. Just gotta let them fly. And I'm seeing some hunters that I can start killing as well. Oh, uh, their backs are turned. This is bad for them for sure. Absolutely. This play is terrible. Oh my. Yeah, they're gonna pay the price for this one. If I can land some headshots here, that would be good. Maybe not. It is quite hard with these bows now, man. The, the accuracy is so poor. We're seeing what we can do, though. We are putting in quite a bit of work. But, uh, these spears, man. A bit of a valley here, which is kind of awkward. I'd like to, you know, be able to take out that guy. No problem there. 
and probably try and get some more kills on these. Okay, dang, not paying attention there, but keep racking up the kills here and allowing our guys to put in the work. And it's unfortunate one of my teammates decided to um, shoot a friendly there, but that happens, I guess. I gotta start paying attention. Okay, I'm glad he dropped because uh, we were having some issues there. Th these bow fights are just terrible these days. It's so unresponsive. Longbows are so powerful now just because the draw time for all bows is very slow. So if you have a chance to go with like a longbow, I would probably recommend it. I may switch to the... Uh... Yeah, I'm probably going to switch to the stronger bow after this because just... The shooting time here is just so bad, you know. And we got to start uh, going towards that point. So don't want to lose by making a, a, a dumb mistake here. He doesn't have any shields either. Should be able to get some picks. Yeah, we'll just charge him. I didn't want to get in this situation, but uh, we, we can win it, so let's do it. Yeah, there we go. Not too bad, not too bad. If we can take the point, though, this, this could be a problem, actually. I might be too late. Although this extra sprinting speed is really helping me out here. So let's just start taking this point, and there we go. That'll be a win. Not too shabby. I'm out of arrows, actually. I could use something, but... Solid, solid win. 58 kills after just two rounds. We take those, man. Drop that bow, and uh, let's eat some throwing axes at this, man. Maybe we can get something rolling with that. Nah, we'll just camp over here. Uh, I don't really feel like dying, so... I don't know. Let's see if we can pick up some sort of arrows. All right, Move. not bad, not bad. This is just a pointless little archer duel we got running here. Maybe I can hit him. I'll just keep unloading. This is just gonna take forever. I don't know what this guy plans on doing, but... <laughs> this is such a waste of time. He's trying it, man. There we go. Take him out. There we go. 59-24 after two rounds against Sturgia. That's not a bad deal, man. That is not a bad deal. So, yeah, like I said, uh, I think just because the bows are so unresponsive, uh, I think it might actually be better just to go with the better bow. Because the time to actually draw and shoot, I, I don't know if it's going to be any worse with the better bow at this point. So, it's worth a try. And we'll just keep the extra arrows as always. As you can see, I ran out of arrows, so like, you really need every single arrow you can grab. They really are that important. And I may try and go on the right side. We do have a lot of archers still, so as the more flanks we can get, the more well off we're going to be. I'm seeing some infantry run C, I think. And yeah, we'll take a bit of a different approach here. Maybe get on this little hill and allow our men to just start firing. Again, we do have a lot of arrows to go through, so there's no point in waiting. Just let them fly. And I might be in a bit more... A poor... A, words. I might be in a, a bit more of an awkward position here, just because uh, they do have the shields actually facing me this time, so uh, this could get bad. So I can shoot this guy's leg. Maybe his head. Oh, that's not covering. I don't believe it. And we'll just take a flank here. If he's going to give us the opportunity, we will... Uh, he's going to turn his back? Okay, and I'm paying attention. The Berserker's actually going to take me out there, but... I'm not the worst thing, I guess. And I don't like that he has my bow. Drunsnick are just going to be a little bit of an annoyance. Let's see if we can take him out. He doesn't have anything too useful here. See if we can just mug him. Yeah, he is being a bit of a threat. Uh, let's see. I get the Variags over here. So we can, he is shield walling, so we can just keep shooting here. 
I, I certainly, I, I probably misplayed here a little bit just because I haven't just been shooting at too many shields, but also this cap distraction is very annoying. Yeah, I, I think we might be dead here just because the cab's actually doing something for once. So we'll just go ahead and, and charge and hold. Uh, well, actually, we gotta get out of here, but I have not played this round right at all, uh, really. But uh, no one's even left, so. We'll just uh, get over here and allow our men to start firing. And they're dead. Yep, so that's an unfortunate round. Certainly some improvements to be made, but let's just end it. I don't know what I could have done differently, to be honest. They found a bit of a better cove to defend from the cows, but uh, yeah, it just didn't work out there. I maybe got like two kills that round. Just not enough guys dead by the archers. Not enough flanks. Our spear infantry really should have been protecting us from the from the cab there, but I hope these guys just run in. There's no there's no point in camping here. Like these archers cannot win, so. But yeah, I, I think the angle was was bad just because I mean they're obviously running lines there with uh with their uh, infantry, so you never want to be in a position where there's directly infantry in front of you and you're shooting into the enemy, because that means they're going to have shields facing you in the same direction, right? The key with the archers is going to be to get flanks, right, or get a little bit of off angles, and I, I played way too direct, and so I literally wasn't able to do anything there. I'll switch back to the faster bow. I didn't notice a difference, so I'll just keep it this way. And looks like we had a teammate leave, so... Now, Step Bowman will be decent when your teammates leave, just because they do have decent, pretty decent numbers. But uh, we're not going to win here if we're going to have two cabs. There's just no chance. So, yeah, that's probably going to be game for this one, but... It was worth the try. If our cab can at least kill the enemy cab, maybe we can get something rolling. But yeah, only getting... Two more archers, but better than the one cons guard we would get. Uh, just more range firepower overall. Kuze, unfortunately, the only option you really get for spam and numbers is going to be the rabble bonus, but uh, that's about it. That's all you get, so. Gotta be working with that. We'll just start shooting here. See if he's actually gonna pay attention in shield wall, which he's not. That's interesting. Okay, now he's actually shielding. Uh, he should be able to defend from these Drunsnik. I hope he can defend them. Because if not, we will be in some serious trouble. I really like this spot in a, uh, in a Sturgia match like this. But uh, I don't like this shield wall, actually. Uh, here come the Berserkers from behind. Gotta be careful there. Not gonna be dumb. We're gonna find a nice distance on this hill. And we're going to face this direction, and we're going to start shooting. Let's let those arrows fly, you know. What can we do? I don't know, man. Let's just charge. I, I, I don't have a plan, mostly just because our, our, our team hasn't done jack, so like... Uh, I'm just going to die here. It's not even worth the time. So. Yeah, Cav aren't here. They're dying to nothing. So, yeah, there was just no chance that round. Anyways. Yeah, so, a bit disappointing just because, I mean, honestly, the team was trash, but uh, at least I was able to show off some effective uh, flanks and... You know, Step Bowman can be used over Khan's Guard, but in most cases, I would say go with Khan's Guard over the Step Bowman, unless you want a little bit of extra firepower, but just having the Glaive and the armor is just going to be so much better. Like, I could actually have some chance against Berserkers, but... Yeah, these guys will die off soon, but... We're not going to win, so I'm just going to go ahead and end it here. Uh, pretty... Pretty good game on my part, but yeah, again, just team, no coordination, and these Cav plays have just been horrendous, but uh, that's about it for this episode, and uh, I will see you guys next time.